So in this example, we have a limit. Now, could we go through all the math of finding the limit? We absolutely could, right? But we can also recognize, hmm, this actually kind of looks a little bit like a definition of derivative. Now, it doesn't look like the definition of derivative with h, right? But it kind of looks like that uh, bottom one, doesn't it? Right? So again, if we're trying to find this now again, what does the definition of derivative look like in that case? That is going to be the slope of the tangent line at a given point. Right? So that's going to be the slope of the tangent line at a given point. So what we want to do is we want to figure out, all right, well, what is the function, first of all, that we're actually trying to take the derivative of? So the function here looks like it's going to be x cubed. Okay. Now, the point that we're going to take the derivative of is going to be at a, which is your constant. So what does my a look like in this case? Huh? 2, right? Because it's f of x minus f of a all over x minus a. So in reality, what this is saying is, this is truly saying this is the same thing as f prime of a. That's what that is asking. This is what this is really asking. Find the derivative of this function at a. That's what they're basically asking. Yes? So if you go back to your limit definition, right? this is our first original notes. It's f of x minus f of a, x minus a. f of x, x cubed. f of a, 8. x, x, a, a. Make sense? Kind of? So, so in, real, in reality, what this is looking for is the slope at a. Well, guys, if we, if we figured out what f of x is, can we now find the slope of f of x? Right? I'm not going to make my mistake again. That's 3x squared. Now that we know what f of x is, can I find f, sorry, f prime of a, which in this case is really f prime of 2, which is 2 squared is 4 times 3 is going to be 12. Right, because a is equal to 2. So therefore, that equals 12. Now, because I'm a teacher, I want to go back just real quick and talk about this. I showed this to you guys at the beginning of that first class. Here's x. Here's a. Here's f of x. Here's f of a. Right? Um, so as x is approaching a, so as x gets closer and closer to a, what we're trying to find is the slope of that tangent line. So the limit, the limit as x approaches a means as these points get closer and closer to a, do you guys see how we're getting closer and closer to that tangent line? At a. So we need to figure out what a is. Well, in this case, a is equal to 2. So that's why we, once we find the tangent line, we plug in 2. That gives you that slope of that equation right there. All right, you don't need to graph it, but I was just trying to 